the Seattle Sounders and Colorado Rapids in the Western Conference Championship. A preview coming up on the Quest Diagnostics Scouting Report. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Quest Diagnostics Scouting Report. Good health starts with knowing. Here with Steve Zakwani. I'm Nick Fershaw and we're previewing the first leg of the Western Conference Championship between the Seattle Sounders and the Colorado Rapids on Tuesday, November 22nd, 7 p.m. kick at CenturyLink Field. You can watch the game on FS1 or listen to it on local radio, Cairo 97.3 FM or El Rey 1360 AM. Steve, this is the third time this year that these two teams will meet up. The Rapids won both of the regular season meetings, but both of those games were played without Nicholas Ladero, the Seattle Sounders playmaker, who has had such a wide range of success since coming to the team in July. And he is the key against this really stout Colorado Rapids defense. He absolutely is, Nick. And the more I watch Ladero, the less and less I think he's a traditional number 10. He's not a Javier Morales or Mauro Diaz or Diego Valeri. Those guys like to play in the hole, behind the forward, kind of slow the game down and then pick and choose their moments to impact the game. Ladero is different. His movement is amazing. He picks up spots on the field where the other team don't know how to pick him up. And there's a few examples here of how he's improved the Sounders just by being on the field. In an early game this year, away to Orlando, he doesn't even touch the ball for this goal. But look where he's standing. The centre back has to push up to, to Nico Ladero and that gives Jordan Morris space in behind to run and then Clint Dempsey gets a simple tap in. Another example here against Orlando again. This time he's on the ball, running at the back Plan, coming from right to left on the ball, picks the right pass to Jordan Morris. And again, it's a simple tap in for Clint Dempsey. He had an assist against RSL. He's not even in the picture at this point. The attack is building, it's building, it's building. Usually the number 10 will be on the ball or right around the box. Ladero comes from deep, makes an overlapping run on the outside. First time cross, there's the goal. And the thing I like best about him is when you think of a number 10, he's the guy usually making the pass. And Ladero does that, but every now and then he's the guy making the run and his second goal in the first leg versus Dallas was incredible. It's a run from deep, it's from inside out this time, gets on the ball and he's not the fastest guy but he sure looks quite fast here and how's that for a calm finish. So I just think Colorado Rapids are going to struggle to pick him up because who gets him? Right back, centre back, holding mid, left back? I don't know. Wherever he's on the field he creates 2v1s and that's going to help the Sounders. Nico Ladero has been very good for the Sounders this year and in the postseason. He's got three goals in all three postseason games so far for the Sounders. And then he goes up against a back line, Steve, that's very good. But now there's a big change in net for the Colorado Rapids. Tim Howard is out for the Western Conference Championship. Zach McMath steps in. And while his numbers here are quite similar as we look at a breakdown here between Howard and McMath, it's, you just cannot replace experience when you look at Tim Howard. McMath, 17 games as well as Howard's 17 games. Fewer goals allowed for Zach McMath. And... Uh, Com comparable shutouts, six to seven, and more wins. But again, Zach McMath has never played in a postseason game. Tim Howard's played in the World Cup. What does this mean for that Rapids back line and Zach McMath stepping back into the limelight for the Rapids? You know, I think McMath is a good goalkeeper, but Tim Howard is Tim Howard. And him being back there, just his presence, having peace of mind as a team, knowing who we have in goal, he can win us a game on his own. I don't think McMath gives you that. The main issue for me here is McMath is a guy who midway through the season, when Howard came, wanted to be traded, was very outspoken about the situation there in Colorado. So where's his mind at? Can the sound just put him under pressure early. He hasn't played in a while. He's going to be a little bit rusty. I think all of those things is advantage to the Seattle Sounders. Howard isn't there. McMath isn't there. Good goalkeeper, but maybe playing at the wrong time. Very interesting storylines as we head into the first leg of the Western Conference Championship out at CenturyLink Field. Kickoff on Tuesday, November 22nd is 7 p.m. You can catch the game on national TV, FS1, as well as local radio, Cairo, 97.3 FM, and El Rey, 1360 AM. For Steve Zakwani, I'm Nick Fershaw. Thanks for watching the Scouting Report.